now in the middle of episode seven. Yes. How's it been so far? So fun. It's the hardest work I've ever done in my life, which is great. I play a lot of supporting characters, and technically I'm a supporting character on this as well. But the first few episodes, because they're establishing all my stuff, uh, um, my, my plot and all of that, and who Nora is, I've been there for 14 hours a day every single day. So it's it's really nice. But I'm I, It's really nice because I have a job, and it's awesome, and I love my job, but I'm, I'm just a little bit tired. You're just a little, a little, you're just a little tired. A little bit tired. Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. So over the past two weeks or so, Jessica Parker Kennedy, who of course plays the mysterious Nora Allen on The Flash for this season, did an interview with Entertainment Tonight, and in particular, Leanne Aguilera, who, uh, you know, I have issues with, anyway. Jessica delved into everything Nora Allen this season with various fan questions. So in this video, we will be playing some of her responses and going over what they could mean if necessary. But the first thing I do want to point out has to do with her hair. Now, Jessica has longer hair here. It's similar to those, like, first uh, four times that we saw Nora in, you know, season four. So at the wedding in the crossover, the two times at Jitters, and then at Cecile's baby shower. But then, of course, we saw her rock up at the West House with the shorter hair like we will see in Season 5, like in the trailers. And we know she still has that shorter hair currently as they are filming from, like, set photos and stuff like that. So the short hair is obviously a wig. Now, back when this happened, we did theorize that something was up with this and maybe the Nora that shows up at the West House is, like, an older Nora that has, like, experienced the issues with the ramifications from her younger self time traveling to those other points. Some said that maybe the actress just got a haircut, but I think this heavily supports the theory that the short hair Nora equals the older Nora and longer haired Nora equals younger Nora. And they could play with that this season where they could cut back and forth between the two if needed. Jessica does bring up in the interview that there is nothing really going on with the hair and that she thinks they just made the hair short when we meet her again in the season four finale to give us sort of like a futuristic look or something like that. Yeah, I don't know why they decided to do that. Okay. I think it was like a last minute thing. I think they just wanted something funkier and futurist, more futuristic, even though like, I don't know why short hair has to be futuristic. <laughs> There's nothing futuristic about my hair on the show. Um, but it was just a, a last minute change that they wanted to do, which is great because I don't get to have short hair and much stuff. So it was, it was like a very, it's a very nice change for me. Nice, different energy. But she also refers to Nora's arc essentially being planned out well before that appearance. So you would think they would have just made her hair short to begin with. Anyway, let's jump into some of the other comments brought up in this interview. So the first thing that is of relevance is in relation to this scene here where Nora spills that drink on Caitlin. Um, I'm really very, very sorry. Don't worry about it. Good luck with your meeting. I hope it goes well. Thanks. It did. Which had us all thinking that something was definitely up there. But was it towards Wells and Caitlin, or just Wells, or just Caitlin? And this is what Jessica had to say. Isn't that the one at the very end? I love that I don't know. Where, that, where like it does a close up on me and I'm like smiling, but then I make a serious face. Yeah. Yeah. So there, I think, you know, all that, all that stuff is put in there as like, yes, little hints and planting little seeds for things that will grow later. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, there, there was definitely something frosty there, but I can't. Can't talk about what it was. So you have to think this essentially confirms that we will get some like follow on from that, whether that is an in depth or just, you know, a little, you know, suggestion towards later on and whether that is, you know, early in season five or a tad later, but at least there will be some sort of follow on as it did have many people curious as to why Nora is a bit, you know, dark towards Caitlyn. I guess the big question is whether she will be more shady towards her mother or Caitlyn. And is it due to some killer frost stuff in the future or something else? Now, the topic of, like, a flashpoint sort of issue for Nora was brought up, and this is what Jessica had to say. That I don't... I, I yeah. don't know what's going to happen with that <laughs> sort of stuff. But I, I assume... For plot's sake, uh, the crazier it gets, the, the the better it will be. So yeah. you can assume something nuts will happen. I don't, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but probably. Now, if you have watched my videos on the Flash for this season, where anything around Nora and her time travels have been brought up, I have been a tad worried about the show getting it right. And this is really my only real worry going into season five. Everything else for this season looks pretty decent. Because when it comes down to it, I really can't see a way in which Nora Allen survives this season. Like, realistically, when you think about it, based off other properties where, like, time travel is involved, even The Flash, due to what Nora has done and how everyone on Team Flash knows who she is, she really should be erased, you know, by the timeline. 
after a few episodes. She would have done enough damage by then to have that version of herself be erased from the timeline. Nora herself could still exist. Like, you know, Jessica Parker Kennedy playing Nora could still exist. But that version we see in the, well, the end of season four and also in the season five premiere, that would not exist. It's similar to the night that Barry's mother dies and the different versions of Barry just like disappear uh, due to certain events happening. Like they no longer exist. So hopefully there is a decent explanation for that. But yeah, Nora is automatically a plot hole really when we pick up this season. So how they work around that is going to be very interesting. Now, obviously Nora is from the future and she was asked about whether we would be seeing any future scenes with Nora. And this is what was said by Jessica. Uh, no, and I mean, not yet. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't done anything like that. That would be so cool. I hope so. Just to be honest here, I think this is her lying as we do know that there is a scene from the future in episode one, or at least, you know, when they were filming the episode, it was meant to be a future scene. So when they were filming episode one, there is a scene described as a futuristic setting and there were sort of like futuristic designs and labeling and stuff placed around the set. So unless this is a flash forward to something else and another character, then I would have to th I'd have to say she is lying here. Unless she had no idea it was a future scene and she just walked in, read some lines and walked off. Which would be a bit weird. You'd think you'd know if it's a future scene or not, especially by the dialogue you're saying. But maybe Jessica thinks that could be a big spoiler. So I can, under I can understand her like keeping that, you know, that bit under wraps and not revealing that there is a future scene or anything like that. So I can understand if she is lying there. She was also asked about the cross server and if she would be appearing on it. Uh, that I don't know. <laughs> I was asking that myself because I was like, I started in the crossover. I'd like to do it again. Yeah. Um, I certainly hope so, but I haven't heard anything yet. Mm -hmm. Now, once again, this could be her acting that she doesn't know in order to keep it a secret. But since we know that the crossover is elsewhere for this season and the shows tend to, you know, keep out newly introduced characters out of the crossovers, it would be a surprise to actually see Nora show up. But she could like cameo at the beginning if we are hanging out with the regular versions of the characters rather than the Elseworlds versions. But that is for us to, you know, wait and find out, I guess. But if you had to put money on it, you would probably say that she won't be in the crossover. That is like the more likely outcome. And the last thing of relevance to talk about from this interview was about Nora and her powers and her experience with those powers. But this is what she had to say. She knows how to use them. I think she's incredibly keen, which, you know, she wants to get in there be great you yeah. know and she's she's may not necessarily be great yet so she you know may need to just like slow slow down a little bit she just really wants to make her dad really really proud that's her goal so she you know but she's you know it says in the trailer like my name's Nora Wasson I'm the fastest woman alive so she's you know she's got some stuff down for sure yeah. So from the sounds of it, it almost seems like Nora has just become a hero. Like she has just suited up and started using her abilities in order to run around and save people. And that makes you think, so just to put like a random example out there, Barry's dead in the future. He had his head chopped off or brain sucked out by a giant alien or something like that. Some random thing. So Nora has come back to our time in order for Barry to help her with that side of things to you know, you know, teach her to be a speedster and all of that stuff. So she came back in order to learn more all about that stuff. That would be interesting, but then again, being able to control like running back in time, you would think that would take at least a decent grip on your power set to do. Unless maybe she used a certain treadmill, which could be located within a certain museum in a certain year, in a certain future. Hmm. Maybe I said it, you know, maybe I just said certain a few too many times. Anyway, have a think about that for a second. Maybe that's what's going on with Nora. Like maybe not the whole Barry getting his brain sucked out by an alien, but everything else about, you know, time traveling and stuff like that. But it does seem that Barry will once again be mentoring another speedster, which is good to see. He's um, mentored, obviously, Jesse as well as Wally. But this time around, it does seem like it will be a tad different because you're dealing with someone from the future. You know, just things are different in the future. Things change. And also it's your daughter and maybe you're dead in the future and she hasn't seen you in... God knows how long, or she has not seen you at all. But I will leave the link to the entire interview in the description down below if you want to go check it out. It's about like 20 odd minutes long if you want to go watch the whole thing. I basically went over the most important stuff, but there are some questions which are just basic ones I didn't think were worth covering in this video. But yeah, go check that out. The link is in the description down below. But if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like and it shows a poll. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we went in this uh, video. Do, do you disagree with what I went over or what I thought of certain things? Do you agree with them? Or do you have anything to add? That's always good to hear. So leave all those thoughts, opinions, and additions in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.